Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mod 6. We are back on the server, of course. Um, in the last episode, we we messed around with the bees a little bit, and we set up like a uh, a mutation chamber, right? <laughs> I guess that's what we're calling it. So essentially, obviously, we've got a bee, DDB. He gets the pollen, the pollen from, you know, the ATM star block. He flies over these blocks and pollinates them and goes back into his little hive. Pretty simple stuff. It makes sense. It makes sense. Um, we also have the ATM star there as well. I had a look in here at like what we've done and we've gotten through some nickel blocks, like a decent amount, but I thought honestly, I, I'm going to be honest, I thought I would log on and it'll be done. So I'm a little bit disappointed in that aspect, um, but we can at least see maybe we have nickel. I haven't checked this yet. This is our output. So when these blocks get mutated, it's like 50% of the time they turn into, uh, actually, what is it? What's the, what's the percentage on this? Let's have a look. Um, it is... Um, no, okay, so 90% of the time, it turns into a block. 10% of the time, we get a dense B. So, let's see if we got lucky. The answer is no. <laughs> we did not get lucky. Okay, well, okay. I guess uh, it's back to waiting. Now, I do have a little bit of an idea. We could get another BDDB, and we could have one out here when one's in the apiary, and they can, like, sort of, you know, switch and whatnot. I was also thinking, is it possible to use an apiary in the apiary? So, for example... Is an apiary, if we look at the tags, a valid apiary block? Like, I think we could have multiple apiaries in the one room. Do you think... Is that pushing it a bit? Hmm. I'm tempted to try that. But, but anyway, the, the main focus of this episode, we might get back to that, um, maybe. Um, I need to solve a lava problem. We don't have lava. <laughs> we have none. In our system, out of the system, it, it's all been used up. Uh, used up? Courtesy of this guy over here, a little um, a little smelter. He's used up all the fuel, all of the lava, and so we need more. Now, there's actually a few ways that we can go about this. One of them was suggested by um Galzio two in the comments, and that is using a hose pulley. Um, this is essentially a pump from a uh, create mod, right? So we can grab some casings. Apparently, we can make this right out. I thought we were gonna have to do some work, but apparently not. Um, and it it pumps. It's as simple as that. We're going to provide it with rotational energy, probably from a motor or something, and it will start pumping. Now, apparently, if it is um, connected to a body of fluid, so whether that's water or lava, that's bigger than the, like 10,000 blocks or something, it won't actually like um, drain the fluids, right? It'll, it'll consider it infinite. Um, so we should be able to chuck it in the nether and it should work. That's, that's what should happen. Okay, that's what should happen. Let's see. Do we have a motor? We don't have a motor lying around. We could make a creative motor. Hmm. But it still has to be done on a mechanical crafter. It's, to be honest, it's a smaller recipe. Like, you wouldn't need as much as you do with this motor. This is a, a very annoying recipe for me to do. You know what? I, I'm going to be honest. I kind of want to automate this. And just, like, get it done. Get it out of the way. It'll be a little bit annoying to first set it up, but we could probably connect it onto this. Do you think? I reckon I reckon we could at least give it a try. Let's grab a cogwheel. Um, we should be able to get away with one. Let's search mechanical crafters. Now, how many do I need for a motor? Let's go ahead and bookmark this stuff. Um, I need 12, apparently. I'm pretty sure one's meant to go at the bottom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I guess, I guess maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the recipe was always like that. I, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, we're going to need 12 mechanical crafters. So let's go ahead and order those. This should be quick and easy. Nice and nice and simple recipe. Um, so we'll grab them. Come on, six. Come on. Come on. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Sometimes you have to, you know, convince it. Uh, so I'm going to place a cogwheel here. And will this work? Hey, I mean, so far, so good. So I'm going to try and configure this to be like the motor says. So it's going to be three at the bottom. Then it's going to be uh, five, three, and one. So that should be pretty simple. We can go like this. Um, I'm probably going to try and get everything to go into the middle, like what we have over there. That that just seems like a, a nice thing to do. Let's break that. There we go. And so I'm just holding crouch uh, and, and spacebar while I'm in the air to like hover, right? And then all the arrows go where they need to go, except for this one. Um, we could do a number of things. One is we can just grab a create wrench and we can right click these guys to turn them around and we can right click that guy to go downwards. There we go. Um, are we happy with this? It's, it's in a bit of an awkward spot. Is that a problem? Do, you, do we think? Uh, eh, 
Uh, I think it's fine. <laughs> I, I, I think it's fine. We can just, you know, place a chest underneath. Um, so here we go. This chest is going to be the outputs, possibly the inputs as well. Um, so what we're going to probably do is the same setup we did here with the logic cables. Um, so I've got those on me, but I will need, uh, what are these? Uh, item exporters. So let's go ahead and get those. Exporters. Uh, apparently we've got a bunch, so <laughs> that makes my job a lot easier. Uh, we'll grab variables. So I'll grab a bunch of these variable cards from Integrated Dynamics. Um, and possibly a logic programmer. In fact, yeah, I think a logic programmer. Now, another thing we need to do eventually is automate um, Integrated Dynamics a bit itself because we don't have like the, the crystals you need automated. Um, I'm going to order all of these things so that we have all of the ingredients, right? And I'm just going to have to like manually take them out, right? So um, how many do I need? Six brass sheets, three copper spools. Okay, I believe I have everything on me. We've got them all uh, in here. So what we're going to do now is place item exporters in every one of these. Obviously, it's going to be uh, exporting an item. We will have an item interface itself. So one of these little guys. He's going to be placed on the chest. Um, and then is there anything else I need to do? I don't think so. I think this should be pretty solid. Um, we're obviously going to need to grab cables. So assuming our system still works, I'll grab cables. Um, I should be able to select these here. Can I get logic cables from here? Again, beautiful. And we're just going to place logic cables on the back of all of them. Like so. Nice and simple once again. And now we need to do the somewhat tricky part. I guess it's not that tricky, but... I need to create variables for each one of these uh, sheets. So we're going to go into item. I'm going to say uh, brass sheet. And I need to make, um, believe it or not, six of these. So one, two. And you know what? I was going to make six of them. In fact, I did make six of them. But honestly, the better way to do it is to place them in your crafting table. And you can stack them if you do it this way. So our brass sheet item variable card combined with the empty variable cards will give us, if we reload our inventory and get rid of that magic one. We now have six brass sheets and they can stack. So it's a little bit, a little bit neater. You know what I mean? Like it's a lot more tidier to, to do it that way. All right, so now I have all the variables and now we just need to essentially slap them in here. So we need to line it up exactly like it is here. So capacitor at the bottom next to some brass sheets. So we're gonna do a capacitor here, export item capacitor. And then next to it, we're gonna do the brass sheets. So export item brass sheet, export item brass sheet. And then the next level, and, and so on and so forth. So brush sheets on the corner and the top we could do. That's a nice, easy one to remember. Then in the middle, I'm pretty sure it's an iron rod. Ooh, let's double check. Yep, iron rod goes in the middle. And then around it on all sides. Ooh, that one didn't light up. Did it not, not go in? No, it didn't. There we go. Now it's lit up. It, it's nice that you can visually see the difference because you know when you've done something wrong. It just simply doesn't light up. Um, so we're almost done. Place that there. Place that there. And then last but not least... Inside here, we place this guy. Okay, so now everything is working for the most part, for the most part. There is one more little trick, I guess, we have to do. And that is um, obviously getting the items into this guy. So we're going to go Entangled Binder. I'm going to entangle this chest. We're going to fly up here and hopefully we have room for this. We do. We have an extra spot, uh, spot right here. Let's go Entangle Blocks. Place one there. We can put that away now. Let's entangle this chest. So this is going to have to be both the input and the output. So we're going to place a diamond crafter there. Uh, we're going to put in the recipe for the electric motor. Now, here's where it gets a little bit messy because I've sort of got to do things manually here because as you can see, not all the brass sheets are here and the capacitor isn't even here. So what we need to do, for example, is get rid of these brass sheets, click on this one and set it to be six because that's how many we need. We can do the same for the copper stool if we want it to be a little bit neater, three of those. And we can place in a manual capacitor. And that right there is the recipe. So we can copy that. Chuck it onto this pattern right here. Uh, we can get a, do, 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 an importer. Like so. Um, and this guy, because he's going to be sharing the exact same chest as the input. So it's the input and the output. What we're going to have to make sure we do is add a filter here. So we're going to do a whitelist. Uh, actually, no. We're going to do a... Uh, yeah, we'll do a whitelist. And we'll search motor. And we'll drag in this electric motor. And now this should be... Uh, assuming I did everything correctly, completely automated motors. I should be able to say, I would like 10 of these. Uh, I don't know how well this will go, but I guess we'll give it a shot. I should be able to order them. And if we give it a few seconds, possibly a few minutes, I'm not really sure what the limiting factor is going to be here. 
Um, it looks like it's crafting a bunch of plates. Ugh. Hmm. Mm, maybe I should have just ordered one. Oh my god, that's crafting so many wire cutters. Um. Hmm. Interesting. Can we speed this up? W where are we making our brass sheets? Um. I have a feeling that we've got a machine in here that's doing them. Like a multi-servo press? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Let's search, um, creative flux doohickey. Can I get one of these real quick? Um, what do I need? Do we have an ATM star? We do. Can I get a star shard? Uh, I think I need to disenchant Milnir. I think that's, uh, the, the issue we're having at the moment. But yeah, I want to upgrade that guy, obviously, so we can go a bit faster. So, disenchant Milnir. That's beautiful. Then search creative. Oh, I should now be able to order one. At least one. That's on its way. It'll, it'll be here in no time. Then, I don't know why I ran back here, because I've actually got to go into the processing area. And this is where our multi-server press is. Here it is. Um, we're going to take one of these speed upgrades out. And we're going to replace it with a creative one. And now suddenly, <laughs> suddenly, you know, this isn't really an issue anymore. In fact, the real issue now is this exporter we, or importer we have on the back of it. Let's go ahead and, uh, oh, I thought I heard a scary noise. Um... Let's go ahead and, sorry if I knocked around the mic a little bit there. Let's go ahead and do this. Bam. There we go. Look at this. Beautiful. <laughs> the multi-servo press is no longer a bottleneck. I mean, it's, st let's be honest, it, you know, it's still not instantly fast. Like, it's not um, unobtainium furnace fast, but it's, you know, it's pretty fast. Um, so there we go. Um, in fact, if I run back in time, which I don't know if I'll make it there, but we should be able to see the thing crafting, right? Is it doing it? Yep, all the stuff's here. It's currently getting put into place. Um, hmm. This actually does mean a few things. Because obviously this is... I mean, this works. But imagine if it worked faster. And I think we can make it work faster. I think what we could do, instead of running this Neanderthal, this caveman setup that we have with cobblestone, turning into stone slowly, we could just set up a bunch of motors now that we have them automated, right? So let's go motor. I'm going to grab one out. I, I know for a fact we need more than one. I, I'm not sure exactly how much we need. In fact, can I get um, engineer's goggles real quick to double check? We'll get, listen, we're getting to the lava. <laughs> I haven't forgotten. I almost forgot. Um, but we're, we're, we're getting to the lava. So goggles, I'm going to put these on. Can I combine them with my helmet? No. Okay. Um, on top of that, can they go in a spot over here? No. Okay. This is my one little... Let me know if you have a suggestion with create. Like, I know for vanilla stuff, you can combine it with the helmet, but I don't know how to do it with modded stuff. Um, okay. So you can see all the stress units these guys use. They use 64 for each of them, right? And around the back here, this guy makes 16,000. So, you know, you could say he's pretty good. You could definitely... You could you could pose an argument for that. Let me get some gearboxes. Um, can I craft more? I'd like 10 of them. Really? We're missing buttons. Okay. Um, is this a joke? Can I just craft these buttons and will it use them? We're about to find out if I have to go edit a recipe or not. <laughs> um, gearbox. Here we go. 10 of you, please. Thank you. Nice. That should work like a charm. We'll get, you know, we'll give it a few seconds. Just, yep. Whenever you're ready. Oh, we got, there we go. That, that's, that's good enough. Um, so what I'm thinking is I can place the gearboxes like this. Oh, right. So we can have, I don't know, five, I guess, temporarily. And if I place a motor on here, how much does this guy create? Currently, none, it looks like. Let's search ender gate. Let's grab one out for now. Slap this guy on here. Hmm, he was not happy about that. <laughs> Why was he not happy? Let's get back down to zero, okay? So, so he's not doing anything. And let's put power on him, okay? So at the moment, he's full of power, and he's hooked up. And if I increase this, if I scroll... He just breaks. He's not happy. He's he's very much not happy. Um, can we do a test then? I I don't really know. I don't understand fully what the issue is. Okay, so we can do one thousand. Okay, so yeah, I think I think we just need a lot of them. Okay, I think. Which I mean, we're making a lot, so we'll see if <laughs> we'll see if this works. This will be obviously it's not as much as that. It's not ten thousand or, or sixteen thousand, but it is five thousand, right? And if these only use 64 each, I'm sure even two could probably manage it, right? So let's also go Ender Gate. Let's grab um, two, three, four, five. 
Let me go ahead and slap these guys. I guess we'll do them on top. Hmm. Hold on. I'm not sure why that one didn't break. I'm I'm not entirely sure what the cause for that was. I'm glad it didn't break. But I'll be honest. Don't know why it didn't break. Okay, each of these are now powered, right? So these are full powered. They should therefore be providing enough. Can I? Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. These ones are here. But these ones aren't. <laughs> huh? Hold on. Can I speed this up? Oh, I, I actually can. And it was working quite well. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Oh, we're overstressed. Okay. I mean, okay, hold on. So if I keep going higher, this this is now going at 8,000, right? This is going at 8,000. This guy down here is broken. Um, I'm, I'm obviously still confused. If I slap this guy down there, he's not happy. He breaks. Okay. If I were to attach one of these, for example, this, that works. Oh my God. I don't know if you guys realize what this means, but I think this means if I were to order more... Oh, we don't even have brass. If I were to order three... What's that? We don't have brass? What? 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 Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Why don't we have brass? How do we make brass? Crushed brass. I know that exists. Um, a mixing bowl. I'd rather avoid that. Induction smelter. That is the quickest and simplest solution. So let's go here. Search brass. Give me a second, guys. <laughs> Brass, um, induction smelter, recipe, create, easy, hop down here, um, multi-servo, pulverizer, induction smelter, there it is, chuck in our brass, and let's go back to motor, give me a second, <laughs> 10 motors please, okay, the motors are on their way, alright, but what happens if I place one here, that's when it, that's when it's not happy, okay, alright, I, I get that, I get that, what I don't understand is why can't I slap these motors on here? That's what I wasn't really too sure about. Oh, you know what? I might know. Let's place this down. What if we go negative on this one? So we're at negative 32 now. So he's rotating. Oh, it works. So now he's rotating the, the other way. So I'm going to increase this guy to max. I'm going to increase this guy to max negative. And we're going to do the same on these. So these ones here need to go max negative because the, I guess the, they're meant to spin the other way. Okay. And then we put power and power. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it could be a bit fast. Let me, let me run a little sample here. This, by the way, because I usually get comments whenever I use this in a video. This is called observable. And you can set a keybind uh, for it in your controls. Oh my God. Look at it. But yeah, it's called observable. And it essentially checks like... um the speed of, of of every object like how laggy they are so i can click overlay and you can see i guess this guy's using about 200 honestly though sitting idle they're not they're not as bad as i thought we actually have something quite red up here what's this guy oh, i guess i guess this block of water <laughs> beautiful okay and what's what's this over here this is just our player transmitter okay um yeah not not too bad not too bad we can get rid of that overlay um okay well, you can say that craft stuff a little bit faster. We also have a tick there. So, you know what? Let's see exactly what happens if we craft the fastest ATM star. We're, we're about to witness the fastest ATM star we have ever seen in our life. Sit back. Relax. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready for this. Hold on. Hold on tight. Come on. Come on. The, the entire squad is waiting. Literally everybody. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Um. Hmm. What's the issue? What's going on here? What's the deal? You know, I'll quickly have a look. The stuff should be in here. None of these. Whoa! The redstone. I think it's happening. I think it might be happening. <gasps> oh my god. I think the server's even lagging. That's how fast it went. Yeah, wait. What? Hold on. Oh, nope, there we go. <laughs> it, it, it forgot what it was meant to do. <laughs> that is incredible. Honestly, we could look into setting up some sort of redstone so that like, if it... Oh, did it just stop? There's no power in them. 
Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Why is there no power in them? This is the energy cell. He's full of power. Uh, this is the ender cell. He's not currently full of power. This guy is outputting 400,000. Um, this guy is doing nothing. Is this guy, are you good? Yeah, he's still good. Okay. Um, I, I don't quite know. Everything's running again. Okay. Is it possible these use a crazy, I mean, they're only using 80 RF per tick. That, <laughs> that certainly shouldn't be the issue. I mean, this guy's full again. So I, I, not a clue what that whole situation was. Not a clue at all. But, um, yeah, that's, that's a pretty fast ATM star. <laughs> Although, I feel like it didn't even get made. Didn't we have three before? Um, oh, maybe we turned some into a shard? I, I don't know. Anyway, okay. Back to back to the, the main thing that we were trying to do here, which is obviously the um, the hose pulley. This guy right here. Uh, so, I'm also... I believe I'm going to need a pump. So, we'll grab one of these from Create. We'll also need some fluid pipes from Create. Uh, you know what? We probably wouldn't need a few, but I'm going to grab one. <laughs> I'm going to grab one. We'll also need an ender tank. So I'm going to craft a new one, but I'm going to use red wool instead. Oh, oh, if the, if the game wants to let me red wool, here we go. And that way it's already set up to be our, um, our lava color. So now I'm also going to grab a diamond. Assuming of course, I don't know what's happening with our, what have I done? Descending, sorting by last modified. No, no, I want to sort by quantity. There we go. Okay. So obviously our tank, we can go ahead and make this guy diamond. So he's locked to us now. Beautiful. I'm going to head over into the nether. La, da, 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 da. Hopefully we're attached to a massive lava lake. Otherwise this might not really work. But I mean, it's the nether, right? Surely. Oh, we're at bedrock. Um, what, do we, what do we have chunk loaded? I imagine this chunk's chunk loaded. So I'll tell you what. I'm going to stand here. And I'm going to go up to not bedrock. <laughs> How does that sound? Um, so let's do that. Let's also we'll do a small tunnel. Because that will probably be faster. All right, I'll meet you guys at lava, I guess. Okay, so here's the the hole. This is the chunk we're in, and here's obviously the lava. Um, I don't know how big of a lava lake it is. I'm gonna hope that it's massive, and I'm gonna try and keep this within the chunk. So what I might have to do is sort of artificially expand this um little lava lake a little bit. So for example, I'm gonna break these blocks, but then to make sure that it's here, I'm just gonna place some buckets of lava, which I just realized. Oh. We actually do have a few. I was going to say, which we don't have, but we actually do. Uh, now, I know we set up that um that ender lava bucket, right? Which was meant to mean we shouldn't have to do this. But the problem is we don't have unlimited lava. So, the ender bucket's empty. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> so this should be good. This should be good. Hold on. Hold on. One, two. And this is going to go there and there. Okay. So, th so, now, as far as the game is concerned, these are connected, right? It's a beautiful lake. If we wanted to, if we felt guilty about it, we could also... Add some lava there. Beautiful. Okay. Everything looks legitimate. Now, next on the list, we need to place a hose pulley. I'm probably going to slap it, um, if I can switch this guy back to blocks, slap it right here. Ah, uh, you know what? I kind of want it to look good. So, we're going to place it here. Mm, no. Actually, do I have my magnet on? I want to pick this up. Is that going to work? Okay, it did. I want to place it this way, right? So, now we have access to, well, I guess to, oh, no, I actually want it, hmm. You know what? No, I do, I do want it the way that it was. I take that back. Um, reason being is... Oh, that's <laughs> the wrong thing. Reason being is one side is uh, rotational input. The other one is actually fluid output. So we obviously want to do it that sort of way. I think. I don't know. I guess it, it's... At the end of the day, it's personal preference. So I'm going to slap this down. Right? Um, I'm going to speed him up because why not? Let's uh, grab out an ender gate so that we have some power for this bad boy. Um, oh, I hate that when you scroll. Um, place this here. And as you can see, the pipe goes down, and I guess he's happy. There's no fluid in him, though, because he's currently, he's not going anywhere, right? It's, there's no suction within the pipe. Um, so what we need to do is add a fluid pipe. Um, we can, you know what? I'll grab a few more fluid pipes, just purely for the sake of they look cool, and no other actual functional purpose. But I'm going to bring them this way, this way, this way, and this way. But I think this one here... I might want to be... Hey, you know what? No, it can be this. I think this one here is going to be a, a mechanical pump. A mechanical pipe like that. Um, right here, we're going to have our ender tank, like so, hooked up. 
We can right click on these with a wrench and you can actually see inside them. They're really cool. You can't do that for the corner, sadly, but um, you, you can for that part. Now to rotate this guy, we are going to need something else. Uh, we're probably going to need another one of our motors, believe it or not. Another motor and a small cogwheel. We could do a large cogwheel as well, I guess. It would, I guess, you know what? Yeah, it might, it might actually not look too bad. Um, I'll clear out a little bit of land here. Let's place our large cogwheel right there. Um, let's go ahead and slap on an electric motor. Yeah, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. lucky we're pretty much invincible. <laughs> slap this guy here. Let's add him to be uh, full speed as well. Grab another ender gate and slap this guy on top. And he broke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess maybe that's a bit too fast. Let's, um, let's slow it down by one. One little notch there. Is this guy... Nope, he's still not happy. Okay. Oh, you know what it is? It's because, specifically, it's a big cogwheel going to a small cogwheel. That's the issue. So it's already doing the step up. Um, this is working though. All we need to do is rotate this guy. So, bring out a wrench. We can right click this. Now the arrow is facing this way. And we should see, it should happen quite quickly, to be honest. We should see lava. Yep, being piped into our system. So now, we have lava. It's, it's not the fastest, as you can see. Um... We've got two buckets, and now we've got three buckets. So it's not crazy fast, but it, it is, at least judging by what I can see and it not draining this, it is infinite. It, it should be infinite. Um, so, sure, that, that's fine. Um, this place is already chunk loaded. That's all good. I'm going to go back home. And what, I, what I'm going to do is show you, I guess, an alternative. So, um, I believe it's a, called a Magma Crucible. This guy right here. Um, I'll bookmark it. In fact, we can craft one. Why not? Uh, this guy... Oh, oh, I just crafted four. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. This guy um, can melt down certain blocks. So he can melt down honey blocks into honey, ice into water, that sort of stuff. Um, he can do magma blocks into lava. He can also do cobblestone into lava. One cobblestone into a lava bucket. And because it's thermal expansion, that means if we order ourselves another creative flux efficiency, guess what? It means we are in business. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, so let me get another resonant integral component. Let me get some creative flux efficiency happening and let's figure out a place to hook up this guy because sadly we've filled up this level. Um, are any of these bound to air? Like have, have I accidentally like, are any past they used by day? I guess is what I'm trying to say. All right. Well, over here, we used to have pedestals hooked up for cobble gens. Um, we might need to hook them up in the future, but I, I mean, I'm going to be honest. I haven't for a while, and judging by what I see here, I don't think I'll need to for a while. So, um, yeah, we'll just place it right here instead. So I'm going to place down the Magma Crucible, of course. Um, I'm going to place... Hmm. I'll do a Crafter, and I'll, I'll show you why in a second. So we'll do a Crafter. In fact, we'll do a Netherite Crafter for this guy, because he's going to be dealing with some pretty big values. Um, we're obviously going to want to get ourselves a Pattern Grid. We're going to say um, Cobble equals... Lava. So we're going to go through here. Cobble equals lava. Create this. What I could do, which might be worth it, is specifically say, hey, a stack of cobble equals a stack of buckets. So this is going to be um 64,000 millibuckets. And update that. So a stack of cobble equals a stack of buckets. The reason why I want to do that is, is because when we order it, it'll be crafted in bulk. We won't have to do like one at a time. Instead, it should do stacks at a time. I'm going to chuck in both of these do heads. Do heads? Is that a new, a new word I've invented? Um, let's put some power on the back, like so. And of course, um, we need our importer. And we need to have it. Oh, do we have an importer? We do. Okay. We have an importer. Slap this guy here. Set him to be uh, fluids. So there we go. He's he's happy. He's set up. He's good to go. We'll grab out. Oh, oh if it wants to work. We'll grab our cables and hook this guy up. Beautiful. So this guy should be functioning. I should be able to say, for example... I would like some lava. I need to bring out my fluid grid to do that. I would. I should be able to say I want some lava, and I would like um, one hundred. You know, I want a thousand buckets. Okay, a thousand buckets of lava. Let's see how long this sort of takes. So first of all, oh, I need to set input and output. That's how fast it is. That's making a bucket every time that ticks. So compared to create, it's faster. It's definitely faster. I mean, we're at a point where we can do it. Like in the early game, definitely creates probably a lot better of an option. But look at this guy, Um, I guess, process. <laughs> the number you should be looking at here is the lava in the system. So I think a stack waits, a stack gets in, and then 
Machine doesn't accept fluid. You're not meant to accept fluid. You're meant to create fluid. You can see it go down. So it burns through a stack quickly, but getting the new stack in appears to take a little bit of time, if we're being completely honest. What we could do to sort of patch that is to have it go into a chest. Um, you know, I, I kind of want to do that. I, I kind of want to do that because I don't agree with what I'm seeing at the moment. So I'm going to... Hmm. You know what? It's not going to be symmetrical anymore, but it is going to work. I'm going to put the magma crystal right back where it was. Instead, we're going to slap a chest on top. Da -da 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 -da. Slap a chest here. And we're going to place the crafter right above the chest with that recipe in it. And we'll have to hook it up with a little cable. But this should now be good. I obviously can't open that chest, but we should see. I should also be able to do um, auto input. That'll be the key here. Let's um, bring out the fluid grid, lava, and press that a few times. 1,000 buckets. Beautiful. We should now see, hopefully, assuming this works. Yeah, look at this. It's staying at 64. You might be thinking, oh, well, how does that help? Well, if we look back in the crafting, it's actually crafting nonstop, but it's being maintained full rather than doing 64, then waiting, then doing 64, then waiting. Instead, it's just constantly doing them. That's what we wanted. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> Lava should now be taken care of. Um, what we should be able to do is head over here and see the clay is back in business or our terracotta to be more specific. Let's see. Yep, you can actually see, um, I saw the lava tank. Yep, lava's ready. This guy's doing his thing. These guys aren't filled up yet because I don't think I have this chunk loaded. So I guess they're only in action because I walked over here, but I don't know. They'll, they'll figure out what they're doing, <laughs> I guess. Um, so yeah. Now in terms of lava, there are some other options. There's like light wells and stuff, a bunch of different things you do. I was thinking about doing a mixer as well with create because you can set up some creative um, blaze cakes. And I sort of wanted to try out that. Um, there's obviously the melting chamber, but this, this sort of uses obsidian, which is a bit weird. There's laser drills, squeezers. There's even bees, but honestly, I thought, oh yeah, the magma, the arboreal extractor. This guy would be far too slow. I was gonna, I was gonna hook him up too though, but I don't think it's worth it. The magma crystal is just, it's, it's far superior if we're being honest. Um, it's possible we should look through here at some of the other options that we get. You know what I mean? Like maybe there's something else this guy does that's really cool that we could make use of it i'll be honest it doesn't really look like it but yeah i don't know you never know um before we completely wrap up though let me go ahead and check on the bees let's see um let's see what the bees are doing um all right are you ready i'm just gonna open it bam nope not a single thing a few more nickel uh, nickel blocks but um sadly no um no dense bees okay <laughs> all right okay um so yeah I, I don't know what specifically this video will be titled slash thumbnail. It'll be probably something to do with the lava. I don't know if we'll show off the create thing um, or if we'll do like the magma crystal, which is incredibly uh, fast. Eh, the magma crystal is probably, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know what we'll do. I'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I, I, I'm really happy with this as well, having sped this stuff up. Really happy with that. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please do consider subscribing to my channel. It helps me out quite a bit. Um, if you if you like the video, you can like the video as well. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. Um, thank you to everyone who've supported me financially, whether you're watching ads, um, donating to me through links or, um, becoming, uh, channel members on YouTube. Thank you guys a lot. Um, seriously, th th thank you guys a lot. Um, thank you more specifically. These are the names I have at least. Um, <laughs> obviously <laughs> it, to thank the people who watched ads, it would take a little while. It would take a little while, <laughs> but these are the people who, who, as far as I know, have supported me through, um, donation links and, um, channel members. So, um, thank you to Galzio2, Caden, Oracle, Skeletor Jacob, Oathus, Derpy Snow Luna, Mugs, V Rifty, and to Coolest. Um, and then on top of that, there is V Rifty and Mugs again, who are also, um, channel members. And I think Caden is not only a channel member, but I think also has donated somewhere else. I, I haven't tracked that down yet. I should probably, I should probably figure out where that money's gone. <laughs> um, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you're still enjoying the series. We're at like episode 190, I think this is. Um, I should do something for episode 200. We didn't do anything for episode 100. Um, apparently though, apparently in like eight days is like the year anniversary of our series. Apparently. I'll have to double check that, but I, I feel like I should have to do something. So we might get a special video. I I don't know what I'm going to do. It, l listen, listen, if, if I'm strapped for time we'll do like a complete like you know run through of the entire base 
showing everything off, having some memories. If I have more time, what I might do is go through um, some of the older videos and maybe give you guys like a nice little intro to the video where like, you know, I, I, even something as simple as going through like some of the earlier vids and just including that intro in this video. So the, or in this episode two, 200 video, just so that we can get a little bit of uh, like nostalgia from uh, <laughs> back in the day. But um, thank you guys for sticking by. Hopefully you continue to do so in, uh, well, this pack, because apparently we're still playing it, but, but also, um, you know, the other mod packs we play in the future, because there'll be something, whether it's all the mods seven, all the mods eight, or whether it's, um, or whether the, the create mod pack I'm playing, uh, kicks off because I'll be honest, I'm really enjoying it. Um, <laughs> as for ocean block, listen, listen, <laughs> one day, one day we'll make more episodes. I want to, it's just, I don't have time. Um, and every time I do have time, it's like that time could be spent making a video for one of these other series. So it's like, I've, I've just, listen, it, it, it'll happen. It'll happen. One day I'll be motivated and you get an episode <laughs> or two. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.